Well, it's a very nice feeling and uh, I think the team can be very proud of this achievement if you consider that how many teams or big names have entered Formula One in the last 25 or 30 years and have vanished again. And we, uh, being located in Switzerland, working out of Switzerland since the beginning, are still around. Well, a lot has actually changed in Sauber and the Sauber group of companies, starting already at the middle of last year when uh, we had a change of ownership and for the first time a hundred percent owner in this way with Longbow Finance and Longbow Finance got immediate stability into the team, starting of course with financial stability, but that's very important on how a team can work that you then can start returning to a normal way within your companies, come back to your usual procedures, which of course takes time. But it very instantly gives a different kind of motivation to the people working here. You get attractive for far more people to come because we have been hiring additional staff. So you see how we step by step are coming back to where we actually belong. So that's just concerning Sauber. But at the same time, you're having other big changes around us and in the sport. Now, to start with, we have uh, new rules coming up this new season, very big change on the chassis side, and at the same time, a much bigger overarching change, which are also new owners of the sport. I'm pretty confident that the, that the target we have set, that we want to be again established in the midfield, um, will be achieved. Now, I know it's going to be a process which works step by step. You know, it'll take its time till we are there, till we can be competitive in that span. Um, but we're getting there. We, we've set out our plan like that. We have the opportunities for that. We have the means for that. So now it's actually for us to deliver this. We expect that they will be part of this vision and they will do everything they can, extract everything from the car, show their performance that we can achieve this target of establishing ourselves again in the midfield. Well, it's a bit early at the moment to say that it's all harmonious. I certainly hope so because we're just starting with both of them together. But uh, what's very important is that uh, they will be uh, fair, with, with each other and towards each other, they'll be respectful towards each other and at the end of the day they have to understand that their interests have to be subordinated to the team's interests. Uh, it's very challenging and difficult because uh, the environment we are working in has become far more challenging for a private team than a works team. Um, you have to on the one side look at how the rules have been developing Things have been getting more and more cost intensive every year. The kind of restrictions we had many years ago have all been softened or opened in some way or the other. So you again can start spending much more money than you could do maybe a couple of years ago. And there are no um, ways to control that because those kind of control me mechanisms, whatever they were worth, are just not there in place anymore. So the costs are going high, uh, the rules are of course supporting that. Then you have to see the overall environment, the economic environment we work in. Things have got a bit better over the years, but we are nowhere close to the times maybe 10-15 years ago. If you look at what kind of sponsorships you could generate at that time. So that's a very different world out there, but yet the costs are much higher than 10-15 years ago. And then, of course, you also have to look at the distribution system in Formula One because the funds are definitely not being distributed in a way which support private teams. It's actually the contrary. So you have to basically be fighting at all ends. It's uh, Sauber's fighting spirit. You know, we've, uh, especially the last few years, um, have been written off totally, which is a bit unfair actually towards the team because you're talking here about two, maximum three years out of a 45-year history or a 25-year history for that matter in Formula One. So you cannot really reduce the team just to these years. Um, and yet we did not give up. You know, we, we didn't bow down to certain pressures. We didn't get ourselves influenced by all kind of forces maybe around us, uh, which were not always in the interest of the team. And we fought for our existence. We never gave up. And that differentiates us, I think, from others. 
This is a very important factor for who we are and how we see ourselves. And it also reflects how we uh, believe in what we are doing because we have started from Hinville um, more than 45 years ago. We have um, always had our base here, nowhere else. And this is the very base which also has been so attractive to other big partners to actually come here and not try to um, take this space somewhere else. So it really um, is part of, of our history and for us it's also part of our future. Well, you know, clearly uh, we are a Swiss team. We uh, have been founded as a Swiss company. Um, we have, maybe apart from a few years, always driven under a Swiss license. So being Swiss is, is part of our corporate DNA. Um, but at the same time, one also has to say that we are uh, focused equally European, on, on, a, on a European way of things, and an international way, which is also shown that uh, how big companies from an international level have also come and chosen us as, as their partners. So uh, from that perspective, we are clearly Swiss, and the usual attributes you would, you would give to a Swiss company are that uh, you, know, you work with the precision, with the reliability of a Swiss clockwork, um, which is definitely valid for us, but um, I guess also for other competitors in the sport. What, what again differentiates us there is um, our relentlessness, in a way, the way we want to do things, we don't give up. And equally important to us is our independence, because we are independent from overarching uh, brand um, strategies or other corporate strategies. Um, equally, there's no dependence to any other Formula One team, so we really can act for ourselves on our own within the Sauber group of companies. And I think all this together makes us also very attractive as a solid platform for partners.